Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a jetatorial. A rapidly expanding grass fire in San Joaquin County, California, the Corral Fire, ignited Saturday afternoon, ravaging over 11,000 acres and prompting widespread evacuations. Starting in Tracy, the fire is only 13% contained, with officials warning of dangerous conditions due to gusty winds and dried vegetation. Evacuation orders cover areas west of the California aqueduct and into neighboring counties. Injuries to two firefighters and road closure, including a section of I-580, complicate the situation. Sweltering temperatures forecasted this week could exacerbate the crisis. The California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection has suspended outdoor burning in several counties to mitigate further risks. In other news, a state of emergency was declared in Atlanta following two significant water main breaks, leading to a citywide boil water advisory. Mayor Andre Dickens assured residents that efforts are ongoing to restore safe drinking water. One break has been repaired, but the second awaits parts for completion. Despite disruptions, Grady and Emory University hospitals remain fully operational. The city plans to distribute 100 pallets of water to affected residents. Mayor Dickens acknowledged the frustration and emphasized the seriousness of the situation. Another evolving story. Early Sunday morning, a tragic shooting in Akron, Ohio, resulted in one fatality and 26 injuries. The incident unfolded shortly after midnight near Kelly Avenue and 8th Avenue. A 27-year-old man was pronounced dead, while the injured victims were swiftly transported to nearby hospitals for treatment. Local news outlets reported on the chaos highlighting the severity of the situation. As of now, the Akron police, fire departments, and the mayor's office have not provided additional information regarding the shooting. The community remains on edge as authorities work to piece together the events of this devastating night. An uplifting piece of news, Elijah Hogan, a homeless high school senior, graduated as valedictorian of Walter L. Cohen High School with a 3.93 GPA. Overcoming homelessness, he found support at Covenant House, a shelter for youth. Hogan, who lost his mother at 12, was determined to excel for his grandmother's sake. With unwavering support from his case manager and school staff, he succeeded. Hogan will attend Xavier University on a scholarship to study graphic design. His story exemplifies resilience and the potential within youth. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.